You guys know those those type of people that like to dress vintage? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty hot. Dappers. Yeah, right? Like it's so cool. But usually it's like, it's like um yeah, I guess it like it depends like which era. They My dad dresses wear. vintage. <laughs> he wears stuff from like the 70s and 80s. That's cool. I have family who wear KKK hoods. <laughs> and I'm like, that is vintage. Yeah. It's, it's it's old school. It's getting in touch with no, the it roots. Ain't. Yeah. It's still around. Oh, true. Not much. Don't you need like a good like door clearance to walk through? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they, How keep, do they the keep it? Yeah, do they it's, have... not, it's not a popular fashion choice. Yeah. You have to hang it upside down. People don't know this, but when you're driving, you have, you have to starch it. Upside and down. then you plug it in. and You go. Like, there it is. I thought they were wearing like a cone, there it is. like an angel thing, mm. like a circle. And no, a, like they that. gel their hair and then like they just like pull it out. That's got framework to it. You get a, you get a post. Yeah, it's like a it's like a fuck. You're building a tent. That's good. That's sturdy. Anyway, so uh, this story here is about Mila. She is from Ukraine, and Ukraine. she decided. Okay, so about 12 years ago. She joined this one particular club where it's like a historical reconstruction club where those members, they were passionate about medieval knightly combat. Oh, so when shit. she joined this, that's when she started becoming very like fascinated with historical garments. And so during that time, she, was, she would sew costumes for various festivals and battle reenactments. And so she used all kinds of different old engravings and paintings as a guide. And so that allowed her to study the history of fashion firsthand and allowed her to learn how to sew garments for herself. So she wears like leather underwear? No. She just smells like it. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually into the, the 19th century era of fashion. So she abandoned the medieval times. Yeah, no, that wasn't like she she wasn't really- 19th century that. means 1800s. 1800s, right, right. Yeah, right. It's the right. most confusing fucking thing that humanity away, ever made. I know. You take away one. Like 20th century fox means 21st century fox, and then they became 21st century fox, and they're like, fuck it. And they got bought by the mouse anyway, but it's so confusing. Well, because the <laughs> first century is, is the, the zero century. Yeah. 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 That's just how it works, dude. Yeah. Oh. But it's still confusing. Yeah, because when we're born, it's not like we're like one year. Our first old. year is not when we're one. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's yeah. fucked up as Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> or the, the entire metric system. They're like, oh, it's 30 degrees Celsius. I'm like, oh, no. But we're the only ones that use Fahrenheit out no, here. Fahrenheit is the fucked up one, to be honest. In the UK and, the, uh, and I think I'm UK? Right. UK doesn't use Fahrenheit. How yeah, come don't they? How come I we don't know. We went to war with so many countries, we didn't even change the fucking metric system back. Yeah, we should have fucked them up and yeah. been like, now you're using inches, yeah, bitch. Yeah, actually. <laughs> You measure your dick like this now. Yeah. <laughs> in, not in stone. But they're like, now I'm only five and a half. <laughs> I was ten in metrics. Oh, actually, it's uh, Bahamas, Palau, Belize, Cayman Islands, the Federated States of Micronesia, the Marshall Islands, the United States, and its territories such as Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and Guam. I like how you said, um, actually, first. <laughs> um, I did? Yeah, actually? it was good. I said actually? You did, actually. Nice. Anyway. Yeah. Back to this chick. So this is Mila. 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 She's so cool. She got that Mary Poppins look. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought of. That's the like, new Mary Poppins too. She reminds me of Mary Poppins. That's that Mark Twain swag, right? Yeah. yeah. You look, she's so. Is that Victorian? Yes, Victorian time. That's dope. Yeah. And so she has. She looks good in it. Yeah, yeah. she looks really good. And so she makes her own her own stuff. And she ends up going to like uh, flea markets and places like that to get actual like authentic, like for example, shoes or some of her purses or her hats. So accessories. It's cute and, like, if you these. if you like live where where she's walking around with like cobblestone roads and shit. But like imagine just going to like McDonald's with her. <laughs> oh yeah, she dresses like this every day. Yeah. And, like her man's dress is normal. She goes to, like that to like LA Fitness and stuff too. Going to Ukraine. Oh. So Ukraine Fitness. It does kind of match because yeah, like you said, like in Europe, a yeah. lot of the buildings. Mm -hmm. It looks like her. that, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, she does take photos in front of things that complement her right. look. And um, yeah, so it's just really interesting to see. Oh, she also has like this TikTok page where, cause I was looking, scrolling through her page and she has these TikToks where it shows like a sped up version of her putting on just her undergarment. Wow. And it's like a process. There's a lot of layers, huh? A How long does it take her? I don't know. Is that why they don't, they don't get cold back then? Like they look like they don't have that many layers on, but they actually do. They have a lot, yeah. So you, she you wears a corset a the every day too. Oh, oh damn. God. Yeah, but for her, she says it's comfortable because she got it custom made to her body, so it's not uncomfortable. Wow. But yeah, and then What's like- What's her summer wear? Yeah. <laughs> 
What's your bathing suit? Well, like, like I just imagine her friends being like, all right, let's go to the club this weekend. Don't invite uh, Mila. Uh, fancy face. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Don't invite Fancy face. She's going to be bar- embarrassing us at the table. Uh-huh. Yeah. Starts from 3 p.m. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Imagine her twerking in those dresses. <laughs> Do you think it took oh, that long? Look at that bump. Just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> you think that was pretty normal? It took that long to yeah. get ready back no, then? And then she even shows like how she does her hair and that's a process. Wow. All the ladies did that? Yeah, she says that it takes her a lot longer, obviously, to get ready, but she does it every day and as soon as she's in in this this wardrobe, she just feels a lot better. You know, so how do they get housework done? Oh, there's even one TikTok where it shows like the day of the week and it's like, oh, Monday, go to the market. And it shows like the outfit she would wear if she was like going to the market or mm. um, like Tuesday, go to uh, a day in the village or some shit. What's funny know. is that girls really experience this like two times in life, prom, Wedding day. Mm. True. Whereas back then it was every day. Mm, yeah. True. Mexican girls got a quinceanera. Thank you. I was yeah. gonna bring it up. Shout out to Mexican culture. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's definitely cute. It's she looks like, good. I feel bad yeah. for them. They gotta work so hard to put on clothes. <laughs> I guess she likes it. Does she she ever loves it. Yeah, I don't feel bad for her. She's doing it on I purpose. Mean, she's for fun. Yeah. Does she ever take breaks? Like she's like, I'm gonna wear a fucking, you know, a hoodie sweats. today. This sweats. is her purse. Yeah. It's COVID. I have to be inside. I'm gonna wear sweats. She can't wear a fucking mask. She no. got. She gotta wear. Uh, what was the other pandemic where they had the bird oh, yeah, mask? The, the, oh, yeah. Where she has the bubonic mask. plague mask? <laughs> yeah. Walking around with the bird shit? Because <laughs> yeah. they used to think that bad smell is what caused disease. Oh. Interesting. Did she say that she does this during COVID? I don't know. Because there's no fucking way. Well, I I saw her Instagram page and she's still posting photos like this. So She's uh, probably wearing she's fucking stockpiling. shorts covered in cat hair like my wife. And <laughs> t-shirts. There's so no the, way. So from the waist up, it's... Yeah, just for the pictures, right? Look, at the end of the day, all that matters is she has followers now. That's right. True. Yeah, she has <laughs> growing, a growing Instagram page. Did your grandmas, like... Were they stuck in the 30s or whatever? Oh, my grandma era? was stuck in the 60s. It was so 60s. cool. Her whole wardrobe, like till this day, I go into her closet and she has so many 60 items because she was she loved accessories and so many shoes and purses. Is and she like, alive still? She's still alive. Oh. Yeah. My oh, mom's stuck in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Her her clothes look like 70s and 80s. My grandma. A disco shirt and shit. My mom is. Yeah, it's pretty disco-y. <laughs> my mom is stuck in depression. Ha <laughs> ha! The great, the great one, yeah. Oh, there, there you go. The great one. That, that's not what I meant, but that's I know. Funny. It's okay. Nobody listens to her anyway, so it's similar to that. Aww. Um, yeah, my mom. My mom still dresses the same as when I look like pictures of her pregnant and shit. But it's it's like loose flannels mm. and like. Uh, not actually shit that's kind of trendy now. I think. Yeah, because oh, everything circles clothes. back. Yeah. Yeah. I have a baby picture with her when she's holding me, and she wears the same freaking top. Whoa. Hey, good for her. Yeah. She can rock it still. That's mm-hmm. true. You guys should she recreate the picture. Yeah, recreate the picture. Oh, that will be hilarious. She has like holding me like that, and then the next picture, it's like she's holding me like that. That's tight. That was actually a, a TikTok challenge. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You wearing that hat, hat helps visualize everything. <laughs> the baby. Too. That's yeah. true. It's not that far off, I feel like. Well, you should recreate your, your little, wait, I forget. Is it the brown suit? Was that you? Yeah, yeah, on top of the rock. Yeah. I could go to that old house too. Maybe the rock is still there. Oh, cool. You're gonna have some grown ass dude in a suit on top of their rock? Wait, what's the for context? A uh, baby Barbie picture of him. It's mm. back there. You're gonna get it? Cool. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we need the context. We always assume everyone has seen everything, <laughs> and it's a mistake. I but then when we tell the same story twice, then everyone gets mad too. Yeah, everyone's like, we've heard this a million times. So then that's when we get into that, like, nah. oh, they already know we're Like, doing. Steve, we know your mom's depressed. I'm like, oh, sorry, I was trying to talk about it again. We know that your sister's hot. I for sure told the same stories on here like three times. Yeah. But I also do that in my regular content too, because you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just always, now that all my content is very conversation based, whether it's the podcast or the mukbangs, I'm constantly repeating stories. We all have podcasts. We all come on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all go on each other's podcasts. What? what? Yeah, someone took it. Okay, so describe it for Damn us. It. Oh. I'm in a business suit and I'm standing on top a of a brown rock. business suit. How old suit? are you? Shit, I don't know. You look like four, five? Yeah, four, I was five? Yeah, I was still pudgy. Damn, you had a suit at four years old? That's sick. Yeah, I had a suit. For had church? a fucking bowl cut, yep. <clears throat> yeah, bowl cut. Mm-hmm. You look like you're I had a bowl cut. We all had character. a bowl cut. Yeah. Yeah. You probably had one too. I did actually. <laughs> you did. What's bold in Spanish? I did. Uh, Bolo. Oh my god, I don't remember. Bolo cato. A plato Bola. is a plate. Yeah. yeah. Plato o plomo. Uh, oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. Please Google it. Plato. Bol. Bol in Spanish. 
A plátano is a plátano. Starts with a C. What? That's <laughs> not it. What is it? Cuenco? Cuenco. I've never Cuenco? said that in my life. Wait, how do you spell it? C-U-N-C-O, right? C-U-E-N-C-O. I knew it started with a C. I failed Spanish four times, guys. I, I remember some things. <laughs> some things. <laughs> Cuenco. So you had a, uh, and how you say hairstyle? I've never said Cuenco in my life. Bello well, you've never eaten out of a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we had bowls. I think we were just call them platos anyway. I don't know, whatever. I forgot. But cool. The point is, this lady dresses like in the 19th century. And I think it's tight. I want to dress old. What, what era would you choose? All eras. Oh man, I, oh, I don't even know fine. which one to choose. They're so cool. I want to come here in my samurai outfit next time. Yeah. I almost got the get up, but I don't have the undergarments. Can you sit in it though? Because it looks very uncomfortable. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> Disneyland, when they were open, they had a, a yearly a dapper day where everybody would dress Aww. like old school, like suspenders oh, and like cute. shit like that. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to go. I want to dress like different sh I think if I'm hella rich, that's what I'll do. I'll just yeah. come in here one day, I'll look like a, like fucking Martin Luther, not the uh, Martin Luther King, but the original uh, famous Martin Luther in Germany, mm -hmm. like, a, like a monk, uh, like with the fucking like Friar Tuck shit. Oh, a Friar Tuck would have been an easier Reference. That's true <laughs> because. <laughs> but I do know what Martin Luther looks like. He has like a little like a beret like hat hat on. Oh okay. Every time I watch a Ryan Gosling movie, I'm like, I'm gonna start wearing more suits and comb my yeah. hair more, and yeah. then I fucking never do. Well, because then when we do, we're like, I don't look like Ryan. Gosling. Yeah, yeah, at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it. No, it's because we gotta live in in Europe or something. That's where they really rock it, and it's like. It's hot super, as fuck over here. It's super nice, and everyone is dressed like that. Yeah, so you don't stand out. Yeah. We should well, have a dress up there. I don't here. see anyone dressing like Shakespeare with the Krusty the Clown thing going on around their neck. True. I get the occasional comment where I'm like, where they're like, dude, why are you so dressed like you're in high school? And I'm like, honestly, dog, like, I rap and I make YouTube videos for a living. I'm gonna dress like this till I'm 80, bro. Like, yeah. How are you supposed to dress? You're like, how about because I act like I'm so nice? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Facts. What, what, what videos are you watching, my man, of, of, of me? I, mean, I don't see anybody <laughs> scolding Snoop Dogg. No, exactly. Yeah. Like, hey, Snoop Dogg, how come you dress like you're not old? <laughs> yes, Snoop. Look at Snoop Dogg trying to dress cool. I know, look at him. <laughs> Who says that?